Welcome back. Now the pendant that's said to be good for your health. Its makers claim it can protect Londoners from electromagnetic radiation given out by machines in the office and the home. Everything from computers and mobile phones to toasters and televisions. The result is said to be less fatigue and more energy. Our health correspondent Liz Wickham has put it to the test. The human body, like all living things, has an electromagnetic frequency. Cells in the brain, for example, communicate electronically. But as technology progresses, we surround ourselves with more and more bits of equipment which emit their own electromagnetic frequencies with the potential to interfere with our own. When we are exposed to uh, lower frequencies ranging between 10 hertz and 100 hertz, those particular frequencies have a tendency to disturb cells significantly that they start disorganizing, breaking apart, and giving birth to perceived viruses, bacteria, yeasts, and molds. A new invention called the Q-Link, a pendant consisting of a cell, a circuit board, and a copper coil, claims to help us fight the effect of interference from outside electromagnetic forces by reinforcing our own signal. Cynical that such a small thing could make any difference, we commissioned Dr. Young to do a series of tests on two office workers and our VT editor, Jesse, who spends long hours completely surrounded by electronic gadgetry. After a weekend away from equipment, Jessie's blood was tested. She'd had a sleepless night and was suffering headaches. Then, after a day in the edit suite, it was tested again. Just so as you know, this is what healthy cells look like. Round, separate, organized. Jessie's weren't great to start with, but by the end of the day in the edit suite, they looked dreadful. The cell formations are highly damaged. Uh, there's some crystalline form. Chelation of acids. Similar effects were seen with the other girls. Then they were all issued with Q-links to wear for three days while yeah, continuing the normal working the routine. After that, Dr. Wear, Young tested the blood again. The difference was remarkable. The cells were more organized. There was less yeast, less bacteria. And the white blood cells, the neutrophils, which are the major aspects of cellular uh, cleansing, uh, were active and mobile and moving throughout the bloodstream. Jessie had slept well all week and noticed other changes. I do suffer rather badly from headaches and I have not had a single headache so far this week, um, which is encouraging, I think, in the environment I work in with the, the lighting and the constant buzz and hum of machines. This could be coincidence. Dr. Young wants to do further research. In Southwark, this is Liz Wickham for London Today.